Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'll share with you guys a follow-up to my video on how to remove viruses and malware from your Android phones. This time, we're going to be focusing on those messages that just seem to come out of nowhere, stating your SIM is locked or even your phone is infected. And for some of you, this may also be that whenever you open your internet browser, such as I am here with Chrome, you're taken to these panic-inducing websites. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now for this tutorial, you're not going to need any third party apps. However, to make sure your phone is completely safe, make sure to use my link down in the video description below to check out how you can remove any viruses or malware which may be hidden amongst your other apps. Now whilst using your phone to browse the internet, if you ever come across this sort of message which states that your phone is infected and that you need to seek help to secure your device, just keep in mind, in most cases, this is an absolute lie. Fraudsters are just simply trying their luck through the use of website redirects and pop-ups. And yes, that is despite the fact that they're using the official Google logo. Now you can quite easily tell that it isn't Google from the URL. Just simply tap on that top bar and you can see that it's a non-Google related address. Oh and as for those annoying notifications, just take a second and have another look. As you can clearly see, this came direct from my web browser. So for you, it could also be something very similar. Now if you're wondering how did this happen, basically, it's most likely that while you are browsing the internet, you came across a pop-up much like this one, asking you for notification rights. And unfortunately, at one point to continue reading, you probably said yes. Or alternatively, it could have even been that so-called survey, giving you that potential chance of winning £500. Regardless, you've just given the website complete access to send you any kind of notification. So now that we're in this predicament, just remember, apart from being super annoying, these redirects and notifications will not damage your personal files. So having said that, let's now get rid of them. So first things first, let's start things off by closing up all of our open tabs. After which, we want to head into our browser settings. Now here, let's first stop those annoying notifications. For this, simply head to the notification section, where by scrolling down, you should see the full list of sites which you've accepted to send you notifications under a section called sites. However, for some phones such as my Samsung, this list just isn't visible. So if you can, you want to head into each one of these websites and turn off show notifications. And if you can't do this, alternatively, you can simply turn off all of Chrome's notifications altogether as a temporary fix. So now that we've blocked those notifications from appearing, let's head back up and totally remove all of that site data from our phone, as well as make a couple tweaks. For this, we're simply going to head to the site settings. Here, we want to find and head into the all sites section, where you'd find all of the websites that you've visited that store data as well as have permissions set on your phones. So here, you want to work your way down the list Tapping on any websites that you feel is a bit dodgy and has a weird name, clearing and resetting the data and permissions, essentially removing them from your phone. And those eagle-eyed of you may have already noticed that the same websites from the earlier notification list also appears here, so make sure to remove them as well. And once you're done, you should no longer have those annoying notifications continuously pinging in as well as being taken to these phishing websites. However, before you leave, there's also a couple extra tweaks that you can make to the Chrome settings to help reduce the likelihood of you running into this problem again. So still from within the site settings section, we want to firstly toggle off the pop-up and redirect setting so the websites don't automatically take you to other sites. After which, we also want to toggle off the ad setting, helping to block those intrusive and misleading ads. 
Now, if even after trying all of this, you're still experiencing issues with your phone, why not check this video out next and check if you have any viruses or malware hidden amongst your apps. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.